that there was actually a computer game that helped get me interested in politics. And I think it was called President Elect. And basically, you were a candidate for president. Yeah, it was a fun game. I mean, you tried to win. You not only learned the lingo of politics, but like, yeah, you just try to actually win the election by deciding how you make your decisions on, on how to campaign. I'm Jared Polis. I'm a member of the United States House of Representatives from the 2nd Congressional District of Colorado. And I'm Maine Malachi. I've been a gamer pretty much as long as I can remember. After a long day, you know, of fighting in politics or whatever, uh, gaming is great. Nothing else is really on your mind. It's just a great way to kind of uh, not have to focus on the fights of the day and get a balance in your life. Well, when you win, I mean, it's just a great feeling. It's like passing a bill or making a sale in business. Likewise, when we lose, especially Marlon gets a little bit upset for a while. It's not just me. Darn it, they just took bot. There's just random constituents and others I met, and they always ask, uh, you know, what's your what's your summoner name? And they get a huge kick out of it that they like played with their congressman. Well, my parents would always say, if you don't like something, change it. Well, I had been very successful in business in my 20s, and I found myself wanting to give back to the community. And for me, that was not just make more money if you don't need it, but focus on trying to change the world. When I first got elected to Congress, it was a real crazy experience. I mean, really, all of a sudden, you're yielding to people on the floor, you're introducing bills, and you have the same authority as somebody who's been there for 20 or 30 years, the same vote. You experience politics in a League of Legends game. I mean, the dynamic between the players in terms of who's going where, how you decide on it, do you group up in the middle, when do you stop laning, um, all of those types of decisions, which everybody who's played League of Legends has seen work really well. That's gonna be a quadra kill! Can he get the pentakill? Front you, one on one! It's gonna be the pentakill! And also seen it completely fall apart. Oh no, he's oh, 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 oh. That's only five people, but you have uh, 435 in the United States House of Representatives trying to get along, but you do have to have your role. Let's see, I would say I'm probably something of a jungler because I get to be involved with lots of different bills and lots of different areas and I kind of swoop in to gank them on different things. I think one of the great things is when you can bring together the entire League of Legends community around something because it's a very diverse community, it has its infighting, but when there's an issue that affects everybody, like Sopa and Pippa, it brought the entire community um, even trolls and haters, everybody kind of together around um, making sure that these bad bills didn't pass. SOPA and PIPA. SOPA and PIPA. SOPA. Stop Online Piracy Act. PIPA, the Protect IP Act. SOPA and PIPA directly threaten the very internet that has brought humanity great prosperity and greater peace. This was kind of an internet censorship type law, which really would have prevented League of Legends from even offering some of the characters they offered, not to mention stifling some of the discussions on the board. I have many concerns with this bill, including a overly broad definition of infringement. I mean, if Soap and Pippa had passed, you might have seen the League of Legend community and forum disabled. First of all, I went on the forum, which was exciting, and many of the people calling into their members of Congress were League of Legends players. There was an internet uh, day where sites went dark, Wikipedia, among others. League of Legends players in the community played a role in writing it and calling into their members of Congress to help defeat Soap and Pippa. The League of Legends community should not give up just by defeating Soap and Pippa. We are capable of whatever that we put our minds to collectively. So whatever can invoke passion and unite the League of Legends community will get done in this world. I represent the second congressional district of Colorado. Let's do it. A winning well mean. run. Nice ultimate. Got nine seconds. But I also hope to be somebody that the community of League of Legends players across the country and the world can turn to as a person in Congress who understands that experience and wants to protect it and is very much part of that community.